this video is just a basic tunnel animation or fly through. This can be used for a portal or a time tunnel or even a mind link in Avatar. I think they use this kind of effect. Here we actually have two tracks kind of going over each other and make it a little more crazy. Anyway, so let's get started right away. You, you, this is for Hit Film Pro 2017. So you start a new project, start compositing, then you go to Effects, and you look for the Particle Simulator, and you drag that down to the timeline. When you click the 3D box, 3D Unrolled, it'll ask you if you want a camera, and you say yes. Now the next thing you're trying to find is the emitter, and you want to go to Trajectory, and change that to cone. And when you do that, if you drag the cursor forward, you can actually see it there, and that's sometimes helpful. Next, you want to change the radius to zero, which flattens it. And then you want to change the orientation to 90 so that the camera is staring straight out. Then you want to go to shape and choose circle. And then you want to change the radius on that to 250. None of these numbers are carved in stone. And then you want to press boundary. And then that makes it a circle shape. A true circle shape. And then you go to position. And then this push it back in Z space. And this affects the length of the circle. Again, you know, you can experiment with different numbers here. But negative 3000 seems to work pretty good. And then once you're done with that... you got to go to particle systems particle system and you want to change the life of the particle to about three seconds and then uh, you know again these numbers you can change the speed um, of the particle to about 2500 or 2000 somewhere in there that should be good you want a life and speed so that the particles are basically flying past the camera. And then if you collapse all that and you press play, take it back to the beginning, you basically, there is your tunnel effect right there. Now all you got to do is fly through it, figure out how to do that. So what we're going to do is going to go to left up here, and that basically gives us a side view position. And if we zoom out a little bit you can actually see the camera in the particles so you actually kind of, kind of gives you an overview of the whole effect and this is very helpful for orientating you so you want to probably zoom out a little bit more so then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a point in after effects that's known as a null object but actually like in hit film they just call it a point you know null object sounds really scientific and then you click here and make it a 3d plane and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into Transform and drag the cursor back to the beginning. And we're going to hit Position. When we hit that circle, it creates a keyframe. Then we drag the cursor all the way to the end. And we're going to change the Z position to negative 15,000. And see, when we do that, it's actually pushed it out of our view. So if you want to get the... If we drag it to about the 20-second mark, now we're going to change the Y-axis to 2,000. So this will make it, like, go up. And then if we move to the 10-second mark, we if we go to negative 2,000, that'll make the camera go down. So really what we're creating is an S-curve, kind of laying on its face. And if you scroll the cursor, the playhead back and forth, you can actually see the movement that we've created. It's kind of cool. Now what we're going to do is select all our keyframes and press this button, and that will make them smooth. So the I don't know who wouldn't want that to be smooth. You know, whatever movement you create, it seems like you'd always want it to be smooth. So now with our motion created, now we're going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. And we're going to name one for the camera track. 
and one for the tunnel truck. Now we're going to go to the camera. So that, that's the camera. And we're going to pair the camera to the camera track that we just created. Then all we have to do, and you can see now once we do that, the camera now it tracks. It tracks at the point that we created. And you can click this hand here to kind of recenter things if you get things get a little off, so you can kind of see what's happening. This will become helpful later. Then we go into the particle simulator track, and we want to pair the shape to the tunnel track. And now the effect, the, the tunnel effect, and the camera are on the same basic path. And let's see if we pull, we play it, we can see the effect and the camera are moving along. Now if you look closely, you can see actually that the camera is not completely in the, the, the tail, even with the tail path of the effect. Um, so if we look at it from this view, from the active camera view, you can see that we're a little bit out of the tunnel. See, it's not perfectly in sync. And that's because the tail bends and the camera's a little bit behind it. So what we can do is if we go back into this view, you can actually see that happening where, because the camera is so far behind, it's actually falling out of the tail. It, so it looks like it's out of sync. So what you do is you go to the tunnel track and you just drag it so that the the tail end of the effect is hitting the lens of the camera so it lines up better. But you can actually see it from this view. You can see it kind of gives you a, an overview of what's happening at least from a side view perspective. But if we go back and look at active camera to see what we've actually got here you can see that we're, we're tracking pretty well in the tunnel. Low. Here we're getting up a little high. See right there, a little bit high on the high side. So if we just tweak this a little bit and position ourselves more into the tunnel, then we we should be in the tunnel perfectly there. And if you got this far and can do this, you've basically created the effect. The only thing left to do at this point now is just go in and add appearances to those particles and those you can attach anything to those particles that you want. So what you do is you come down into particle system and you go into appearance and then you go into um, to texture and you go to built in and then it gives you a range of all these different types of effects you can add to the particles themselves. Smoke seems to work pretty well. Um, missile smoke seems to work well. And then of course you can give it a color. So you can just come down to color and give it any color you want. It doesn't really matter, so I'm just picking light blue right now. And if you go to appearance variation under color, it'll blend in some different colors to give you some variety there. So if you come in there and you give it, let's say, 20%, that gives you kind of a nice little mix of colors there, so it's not just a solid color. And if we come back and play the effect, it looks like we're flying through these kind of multicolored blue clouds a little bit. Which is kind of cool. But like I said, you can just keep playing around. Once you're at this point, you can just start playing around with the different settings and seeing what you find, what you discover. There's literally hundreds of possibilities. I actually like these sparkle, the sparkle effect. The other thing you do is you can come there and click on motion blur and give it a little bit of a blur too. So I added that. And believe it or not, that's the whole effect right there. So like I said, it's a very versatile effect. Um, I would say practice, keep running through the steps until you kind of get them automatic. And I hope you found this helpful. I know it was, it's kind of a fun effect to play around with. It really is. Have a great day.